Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is what is wrong with this molecule of the amino acid and here is a molecule of the amino acid all 20 amino acids has the same structure have central alpha carbon amino group carboxylic group hydrogen group and R group is going to be different in every amino acid which specify amino acid. In order to answer this question let's take a look at this table. What we see here this is 20 amino acids here and three groups alpha carboxy group so it is here alpha amino group it is here and side chain in some amino acids side chain our group also may get a charge whether positive or negative can be protonized or deprotonized. This PK value show us under which pH this group is going to be protonized. For example, alpha carboxy, which is here, would retain hydrogen only if pH of the solution is going to be below all these numbers. So you see these numbers fluctuate between 1.71 and 2.34. Let's say that average for pH is going to be 2 zero in order for this group to retain this hydrogen. So if pH is going to be below this number then we would see this hydrogen here. And for the alpha amino group we also say pK2 this group is going to have hydrogen here if pH is going to be below this number which is let's say uh, average would be 9 so below 9 0 this group is going to have hydrogen and would have H3 here instead of what is shown here and H2 we are going to see if pH of the solution is going to be above 9.0. So amino acid molecule and its backbone that you see here is basically impossible for carboxylic group in order to have this hydrogen pH have to be below 2.0 and for this group to uh, lose hydrogen the pH have to be above 9.0. This is just mutually exclusive conditions. pH of the solution have to be above 9.0 and at the same time below 2.0 which again is not possible but now let's take a look what different variants we may get. For example at low pH what we are going to get we are going to have this hydrogen here if our solution is going to be say pH 20 and below and in amino group we are going to have three hydrogen so it's going to be protonized and we are going to have positive charge here so one positive charge and let's say we have neutral solution which is pH 7 0 what in this case we are going to have we still going to have this group protonized so and H3 here but this hydrogen is going to be lost because this pH is above 2.0 and we are going to have a negative charge here and positive charge here. So we call this type of molecule zwitter ion because it has both positive and negative charge but net is going to be zero. Because it's going to be net zero charge we say that this is going to be neutral molecule and at the pH above 9.0 so let's say 9.5 what we are going to have we are going to lose one hydrogen here so it's going to be deprotonized and we are not going to see this hydrogen here so no charge here but negative charge here on the overall this is going to be negatively charged molecule so amino acid can be in these three states 
uh, below pH 2, above pH say 9.0 or 9.5 and at the neutral pH it's going to be in sweeter ion form but we never would be able to see the form which is shown here. And this is all for today, subscribe and see you in the next video, goodbye.